All right, it's in the garage. Had some issues um, initially with them delivering it. Um, they said that it was only curbside, even though I paid for garage, but he was uh, helpful enough to put it in anyway. So I'm gonna have to call a water box to see what's up there. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's in. Uh, I don't see any damages along the um, wrapping or whatever, so go ahead and open everything and see if there's any damages to the tank or anything inside. All right, so we got the, the top pieces off and we put them inside. We haven't put anything together yet, but uh, there it is. We're going to open this up and see if there's any damages to the tank itself. All right, so here's the tank. Uh, did a quick inspection of it. It looks like everything is good. I don't see any cracks or anything uh, on the tank. Uh, same thing with the sump. The sump is really heavy. Um, just FYI, do not use this to try to lift it because one side just just snapped even before you even try to lift it. You put any pressure on it, it's just gone. So, yeah, we'll probably have to use the suction cups to, to pick these out and out of this completely. So, um, we'll see. The sump is huge. It looks really nice. Big, big area. The tank itself looks really nice. Um, yeah, so we're probably uh, focused on building the stand first um, and then tomorrow-ish, maybe two days from now, we'll get enough people to try to move it in, but the stand is probably the focus right now. All right, so here's the aluminum stand box. Um, it's huge, um, propping it with <laughs> the diaper box so it doesn't fall over. Um, but yeah, so um, I should be able to take this apart and do it myself. It was just gonna take me a little while. Um, but uh, I wanna have to clean up inside a little bit, uh, make some room and then slowly bring pieces inside and then put it together. All right, so it looks like it's kind of pre-assembled already for us. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. So it looks like we just have to pull each of these out, put them side by side and just like kind of screw them in with these bars across. So. Uh, it looks like I might need another person to kind of hold it to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. This is actually one piece alone. It's actually pretty light. Um, so yeah, um, I think we can, should be able to do this. It's just more of like uh, getting everything in, in place um, and I'm lining it up so that we can um, drop the um, pieces in place here. So let's figure out which piece is which here. So we're supposed to have four of this. This is it, I believe. Also supposed to be something like this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So you got that. Nice. Let's cover the other side real quick. All right, so I'm slowly putting this together, but this is a very interesting locking mechanism um, that I haven't uh, seen before, and I just want to show you guys. So as you screw it, this right here clamps open, and that's how it locks into place with the other uh, aluminum bars, I guess. Um, I've done an aluminum frame before and it doesn't have this. It's like this little thing that you slide in between and you kind of like screw the nut in, but this is very, very interesting. So I did that for the first beam here and it locked in place. And I was like, wait, how is this locking in place? I was like, oh, it's crimping um, that into place there. So that's really cool. Here's what it looks like when you're putting the bars together. They have like these arrows where you just have to, you know, put the, the beams in place in the center here. It's kind of hard to, to mess up, you know, it's really pretty simple here. So I'm just doing this across and it's just locking in place right now.
so I got the stand leveled. Um, it's not completely done yet, um, so the leveling took a while, so I had to play with the, the legs a little bit, and this is the best I can get in terms of level this way, that way, you know, etc, etc. So, um, yeah, it took a while for the, the leveling, and then over here, adjusted the door stopper to, to kind of open a little bit wider. I'm not sure how far in I want it, because I want to have plenty of room to go back here. And again, I might bring it over here, because really, because that... I'm not going to need anything over here other than accessing it like this way, going like kind of shimmying over here. The back, uh, I will do need some sort of access back here uh, in terms of the piping. Um, and then also, um, I'm going to put a UV sterilizer in the back here, so I need access back here to change the bulb or do maintenance on it. And plumbing it into the, the sump area. And then also, and of course, got to leave enough room for my RK1 up. And so there's plenty of room here. Uh, I can shimmy it in and out. There's plenty of room over here. There's like you know, plenty of room there, so this is fine. And then I'm thinking of putting the doser and whatnot in the back of the RK, or maybe find a way to put it in between here, and then uh, that way I don't even need that little, the cabinet anymore. So we'll see how that's gonna work out. All right, so we're getting ready to move the sump um, into the stand. I unscrew those two bars, push it aside, and we're gonna slide it into here. And then we're gonna put the all the top off as well into here. All right, so here's the sump. We got it out. Uh, used two of these um, suction cups uh, to move it out, and uh, we're gonna start moving it inside. The sump's in place. The auto top off is in place. The first door is in place, but I need to adjust the height uh, when it closes, so it, it closes. But then it's like kind of angled down a little bit, um, so I'm trying to figure out how to correct that. Um, other than that, it looks like everything kind of fits into place pretty well. I ended up moving the arcade out of the way and centering it. So that way we can clip the door, because I had to take the door out here uh, to kind of, you know, fit the tank in later. And then we'll put the door back in. And then it's, it just barely clears the door by like a quarter or something like that. So we will clear the door. Um, and then we have space on both sides to access the tank. So it's just centered to the wall. All right, so check this out. This thing is ginormic. This sump is all glass and it weighed a ton. <laughs> um, I can only imagine uh, the tank later when we have to pick this up. But the sump is in and it looks really, really nice. There's the um, auto top off. There's actually plenty of space on that side so I might end up putting the trident and all that stuff in there uh, if I'm able to fit it. And then I'm trying to figure out how I wanna plumb the UV sterilizer, if I want to run it out in that way and stand it upwards, or if I want to run it over there and behind. Uh, I'm trying to debate right now, figure out what's the best way to do that. Um, thinking maybe I'm gonna try the UV sterilizer on the side, standing up, but we'll see. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. Nothing you're after, right? <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so uh, the thing weighs like 330 pounds, so you're, you're the fork that we need. <laughs> Very nice. So clear, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Wow. All right, so I got the tank inside. No issues, no hiccups. Uh, the plan went really well. And thank you for Bryant and Thomas for helping out, and my dad as well. Uh, we got it in. And so what we're going to do now, since my dad is here, I'm going to do the plumbing. Uh, that way, I think you could just do it myself, to be honest, just because it's short. <laughs> and I just want to, I guess I could just do it here while he's here, so that's a little bit easier. And then we ended up not having the um, arcade here. Um, it can still fit there if we want to, but I'm going to probably end up putting it here. Um, because it's more room here and kind of slide it in. And door here is one thing we were worried about, and the wife suggested to make it clear, so we cleared it here. So that's actually a good idea for this so we don't have to like worry about this hitting the glass at any point even though we have a stopper so we're in the sump here we got all the plumbing done um, it's just a screw um, on and it fit pretty easily um, definitely could do it with one person just because the tank is kind of short um, but I had my dad help me out um, with the piping so everything's in place we got this uh, manifold that's split here and I'm trying to figure out how to um, plumb this to the UV sterilizer. So right now, let me lay this phone down. So right now we have, um, the pump's gonna sit here. 
it's gonna go to here um, and then we have this extra part that comes out and that I want to plumb to the UV sterilizer I was thinking about putting the UV sterilizer in the corner but then um, I'm thinking maybe it's probably easier if I put it in the back and lay it down because um, right here is the UV sterilizer I want to have um, and then we already have these little brackets here that we kind of sit it flat like that and basically uh, these are one and a half um, slip um, and then we're gonna have to this one's not gonna be the right size but we're gonna go from one and a half to whatever that manifold is and that manifold is um, oh, a half an inch so we'll go from one and a half to half an inch barb or something like that and we'll go into here and then come back out here and I'm trying to figure out how I want to plumb this back out either back into the tank up the top or if I want to run it back to just the filter a sump but then it will be kind of just like running like you know I guess it's going to get fresh water from the tank here so it'll be kind of half mix um, but I really ideally want to plumb it back to the tank up top somehow and I'm trying to figure out how to do that without having like a random barb or something that just sticks out, you know? So, hmm, I gotta think about that for a little bit, so. Um, and also I wanna probably get some strip lights or some of that. Uh, run along these here and that way you can kinda light up so I'm not so dark in here. I'll probably have a, a light in here anyway, so I'll probably light up everything with a, like, like a refugium light, or just even though it's right here. Uh, so yeah, everything's pretty much all good to go except for the plumbing part for the UV and the thing is that UV won't stop me from running the tank because I can just plumb it directly to here the return and then just shut this off here um, and then figure out the UV later uh, but yeah so everything looks good so what I'm going to do next is start filling this up with fresh water do a water test leak to make sure one the tank's not leaking two the sump's not leaking um, and then if everything is good there, we'll put the return pump in, kind of start running it with the return pump, making sure all these are good. If those are all good, um, I'm going to run it for a couple of days. Then we're going to drain it and we'll put in RO water and then start putting salt. And then that's where the cycling starts. But until then, we're just going to um, wait until everything checks out over here. Alrighty, so I just threw one light in the middle here just to have some sort of light to, to work with because dark down here or dark up here is a little bit hard. Um, and I kind of wiped down everything already and it was super dirty. So next what we're going to do is we're going to um, fill this with just tap water just to do a, a water leak test. I know that they do a water leak test um, thoroughly before they ship it out. But again, this has been moved like, you know, it could have shifted or whatever um, I want to do another water test a couple days if everything looks good we'll drain all that out same thing with the sump we'll do that um, but yeah so the next thing is just to fill this tank up and let's see if it holds water all right here's a shortcut hose through the window straight to the tank doing the fresh water reef or fill up just to test to make sure it holds and then um, I'm gonna fill in the bottom as well Thumbs there three fourths of the way. Um, this is going to quickly also check to see if there's any leaks in the piping itself. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, there might, there, there probably is going to be some sort of leak. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so water is going to go over over the overflow box and straight down into the sump, and we'll fill up the sump as well. Um, but one thing is, this is actually my first uh, tank that. Uh, doesn't require like a siphon for the overflow box because normally I just have an external one and you have to start a siphon but this one it just you don't need one so it's gonna be pretty pretty cool all right so the water is just about to overflow into the tank here let's just take a look down here let's see how uh my plumbing skills were 
All right, it's overflowing right now. What's going on there? One second. Okay, there we go. Well, we got some water in the back. Okay, so that's filling up. So my main concern is looking down here to see any visible leaks. Uh, don't see anything yet. So that's good. I should actually put the hose in there so that way if it does happen again, we'll just go back into the return pump. All right, so it's filling up here. So it's flowing over to this, and then this is where the filter stocks or your um, roller will be. It goes under here, and then this is a, a split where you can actually have uh, either one large chamber or a big one here. So this one's gonna fill up and flow over to the top over here. All right, so for the most part, um, everything looks okay right now. I don't see any leaks from the plumbing up there. Um, so we'll have to just kind of watch it. Uh, I did take off the nozzle there so that I can put in that hose so that way like if that back siphons again it'll just come straight directly into the return chamber instead of all over the place I'll have to clean up some water in the back there so just a little bit of water not too bad uh, the tank up here uh, looking good I aim the nozzles up so it wouldn't back siphon um, until I can get that hose in place and yeah it's just water test we'll just let it do its thing hold water for a couple days and we'll drain it afterwards but yeah this is the first look of the new water box frag 175.6 tank but yeah i think i'm like one of the first customers to actually get the tank because like i ordered it once they announced it like the day that that live stream went live i went and ordered it just because it was the expects that i was looking for and yeah so if you guys aren't subscribed yet make sure you guys subscribe we'll have more content on the the build and as it progresses um, until next time guys, peace.